What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're in the Evo right now. Uh, we're about to go for a drive and I know what the title of this video is. We actually have to address something that's going on with the Evo 9 which actually has been making it pretty undrivable for the most part and we're actually going to go stop by my buddy's new shop, my buddy Sam. Uh, I've kind of not really hyped it up that much that he's gotten his new Evo shop going but uh, he has his own spot. He's working on cars. I've never actually been there so we're going to get my first reaction to that. Swing by the shop, see what he's got going on, fix something real quick that's going on with the car. Uh, I'm really tired right now. I actually wish I was filming this video on a day that felt better, but uh, this is the only day off and I have time to go do this. So we're going to go get myself a coffee because I'm dead tired. I just woke up and we are going to fire up the car. Look at that. Not bad for an 85 Cold Star at all. You guys saw that. I haven't driven the car in like the last time I filmed the other video, which is, uh, I think four, four days ago. So it's been sitting. my house and this dude's trying to work on his Tahoe or whatever that was but I look like a bobblehead you guys get to see a little detour of the back roads where I live it's actually really pretty over here um, coming up soon me and my roommate are gonna be trying to move I say soon like it's coming up next week or something but this car if you notice too doesn't have any tint in the front of it I really hate that. I want to get a tin in the front because not to uh, not trying to like blow up my ego or anything, but everyone always stares at me when I drive this car because there's obviously not that many eights and nines running around. There is a good amount of them, but at the same time there isn't. And uh, I like having privacy. I think one of the wheel bearings is going bad though, for sure. You could hear the squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. No cops watching me do this. Hi, good afternoon. Would you like any food or food to start off your order? Uh, no, thank you. Could I get a venti iced coffee with vanilla and half and half? A venti iced not happy that uh I was filming but what can you do and that lady was staring hard I don't know how well you guys saw in the video I hope you guys did but her stoke level was not high the exhaust on this car is really quiet I really wish it was louder because make these POV videos a lot more interesting I'll try to do a poll for you guys if I uh if I can in a boo 
loose she boogies for a stock turbo I understand why people like these cars so much just bolt on Z85 it's so much fun like the power just comes on so fast and if you guys have never been in an Evo the way these cars get on power is just maniacal that is like honestly the only word for it so aggressive Guys, we made it with the man, the myth, the legend. Your boy passed the shop like two times, but this is his homie's car. I want to show you guys because this thing is super clean. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, it's a stock block. I think it has 100,000 miles on it. Uh huh. It has the FP0 turbo. I don't know what hot parts it has actually. It might be STM. Or no. Yeah, I don't know. But it's a tubular manifold, so it's not a stock. Manifold, like how most people run <laughs> yeah. with the FP zeros or even the FP manifold. Yeah, the cast. Yeah. You got it coated, huh? Yeah, ceramic coated. I didn't do the work on this because um, at the time I didn't open yet. Uh, another shop did in SoCal. Nice. Yeah. This is an Evo 8, right? A Evo 8 RS. Is it really an RS? Yeah, it's a real RS. No, oh, shit. no uh, ABS. Damn, literal death trap. Yeah, sheepy kit, and I just actually installed this, so if you ever need it, I think that looks way cleaner than a small battery. Oh, this is that car you did the battery in the trunk? Yeah, You yeah, want to yeah. show them, like, what it looks like? Yeah, yeah so, it's like that, and then... That oh, yeah. Right here. yeah. But I haven't bolted it down, so it's just going to bolt down right here. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so you don't true. have to worry about jumping your battery or what did you tell me? Disconnect that negative terminal and you'll be fine, remember? With the small with, with the small batteries? Oh yeah yeah yeah. You with said the disconnect. Small batteries, no. yeah. So now he's got a normal size battery and doesn't this have to worry. This one's actually still kind of a smaller one, but it's bigger than the other one. Yeah the yeah. the normal size, the actual big normal size would actually last longer. This one actually died on me in like I think two weeks. Oh really? Yeah, but it wasn't like completely dead where you can't save it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's better, but not much better. Yeah, <laughs> it lasted like two and a half, maybe. Oh, two sure. and a half weeks. But I don't know if it's because he has like a short or something. Uh -huh. I feel like it would have lasted longer. Yeah. yeah, you would think. Yeah, this thing's clean though, dude. White with mag blue. It's my old bumper. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. You've had two JDM rears? Like I said, an actual RS. Nope, no, uh, no power windows. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an Evo 8 RS. Only the 9. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never seen one before. It's, it's pretty much one. the same except no MyVic. Right. This one's an 05 though, so it has ACD. Oh, so it does have ACD. Yeah. And he actually kept it? Yeah. I'm surprised. Most people always want to, you know. Yeah, he didn't want to do too much to it. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it went out, it was like completely stock pretty much when George bought it. But then when he sold it to my other friend, Gustavo, um, that's when they started modifying, like putting, it has S2 cams, I think. Oh, okay. Nice. And eight sound cool with cams, better than the nine. Yeah. You get the chop. Mm -hmm. Does this one have AC? I know some of the RSs didn't. Yeah, I think it does. It does? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's rare. Because see, I, when you look up like Mitsu catalogs, it's really confusing on some say it was never supposed to come with it, some were special yeah. ordered. So there's the AC right there. Oh yeah, I see the lines for it too. Nice. But no, there is options where you could do without AC or with AC. So there's some floating around without AC, some yeah. actually did come with it mm -hmm. from factory. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Here, shout out to our boy. Oh, I yeah. thought it was Kaizen. Just Kanzai. No, it's <laughs> yeah, no, and then... Um, the RSs don't come with uh, HID like lights, but then he had, he had to make like some type of harness. All right guys, so I've been kind of bullshitting with Sam. I haven't seen him in a while. And so we're here in La Habra, California at my buddy Sam's new shop. Like I said, it's my first time ever here. Uh, it's been a long time in the making, him getting his own spot. You guys, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, know that he used to be a engine builder and machinist at D-Sport Tech Magazine and Machine Shop. Uh, Sam does really killer work. He I would say honestly knows the 4G63 out of better than 95% of people in Southern California, especially for his age. I bet you for his age, I don't think there's really anyone out there. There's only one person in particular I could say that would uh, be up there, and you guys already know the name. But, you know, I'm, I'm stoked for my buddy. We're out here. 
I'm going to show you guys one of the issues that the Evo has. This is it. And Sam's still in the process of sorting this place out because he kind of took over obviously another business that was here before but I haven't been driving the Evo because if you guys look look how bad these tires are splitting that's crazy it looks like someone took a razor blade to the sidewall and just like cut a straight line across <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna be switching out Sam's nice enough to let me borrow some wheels is it your wheels or your brothers Richard. Oh, is it? S -E wheels. Okay, shout out to Richard. Yep. That didn't make it because he wanted to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got another Evo here. This one needs to get a head pulled off because it's misfiring. Is the head cracked or something? No, the belt might be broken or bent or something. No way. It's too much. Too much. Or not already, but yeah. He used to work at already. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. So you're still in the game? Yeah. I haven't heard that name in a while. I forgot what he did. Uh, he broke my friend's car, too. Yeah. I, I'm, not try I'm not trying to bash him, you know, make this a bashing session. No, but yeah, yeah. he did a... Uh, is this car stock turbo? <laughs> this is stock turbo. 85? Yeah. Yeah, that was the same setup my buddy had. Where are the, where are the other wheels? Like, show them. Oh, yeah. Damn, you got axles for me, dog? Uh, those are my speed, uh, drive shaft shop. Oh, are they really? Yeah, some of them are. I was no wonder why they look beefy. There it is. Time to make this car look like my old car. One of these have a uh, curb rash. It's not that bad. You'll see it. It's probably like just right here. Yeah. It's all good, dude. So just in case you're like, oh, fuck, oh, curb it. Oh, no. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me know. <laughs> yep, right here. These wheels are rare now, too, dude. Huh? These wheels are rare now. Oh, yeah. Hard apparently, to find. Apparently, the regular BBS ones, you could sell them for a thousand now. I you could sell these for like 1500 plus. I believe that. And uh, cause my friend bought a set of MR BBSs. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh yeah, I just picked these up for like a thousand. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. He used to be able to get those for like five, six hundred. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I got a good deal. I'm like, damn, that means I can sell these for like 2000. That's crazy. He was like, yeah, post them. I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah, Evo tax is getting out of control, guys. It is. So here it is. If you guys ever want to get some maintenance done, Turbo kits, clutches. This is your guy right here. Thanks. In case you guys are wondering, like, man, there's a lot of boxes. Sam, like I said, still getting situated, but. If you guys know anybody that want to buy all these bugs, let me know too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, got some, some chameleon. What? Is, I remember you sent me the catalog. Yeah, it's like uh, chameleon. They're all in there it's like uh, animals. Yeah. Amphibian, like random fish, birds. <laughs> It'll be a good uh, next year's Christmas gift. Right? <laughs> well, this guy got the leather Recaros. These are rare, dude. If this is one? Oh, maybe this is just a wheel. What? That makes no sense. Is it like a <laughs> wheel lock? I don't know, but this is like a cheap wheel lock. Because you could just put like a, a regular socket in here and it'll work. I bet you it's a 19. That? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's a 19, but this isn't. Oh, it's not a real, it's offset socket. You see how it's offset? Yeah. Shit. So this is a wheel off. That makes sense. That's real, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've, ne I've never seen that. That's weird. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I've never really gone in, into like this car in depth, just like visually. So right now I'm having Sam go over the car because obviously this is his specialty. And what, what did he show me right now? Oh, it's just like wet down here where the transmission is. There's some kind of something going on down there. It's kind of hard yeah, to see. Well, you could see from here, this angle. It's like wet here. 
Yeah, it's like moist. Yeah. Uh oh. I think that's your. It's my brother and dad. <laughs> your, oh, is it? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. How do I feel like Sam's gonna find like a puddle? Hopefully not. I hope not either. Well, I forgot, I forgot how stock freaking beetles were. <laughs> <laughs> it has all these random. Now, nothing tops when Richard put together Zach's car. Remember the bolt in front of a bolt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is this? Only bolt that's wet is this. Oh, what the heck is loose? What? Look. The transmission bolt? This bolt is loose as hell. That's scary. See, this is why we, we take the evil to you, dog. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's where it's coming from. A loose bolt? Yeah. What well, the, the bolt hell? looks like it's in good condition. Yeah. Why is it loose? All right, guys, it's now like a week and a half later after filming all this. And it's taken so long for me to finish this video just because I was sick with the flu for like a week and I was dying, stuck at home, couldn't even like breathe or anything. And I took a COVID test that came back negative, uh, both in the beginning of me getting sick and afterwards. So if you guys are wondering, it was not COVID. But I hope you guys are excited for my buddy Sam's shop. Uh, it's taken a long time for me to kind of put it out there and it's taken him a while also to start publicizing it because for a while he was working out the legality of it and trying to move in and uh, obviously quitting his job at D-Sport, you know, as an engine builder. For the longest time me and Sam have had all these really cool ideas and we weren't able to make them happen just because he was too busy at work, I was too busy. And now with this new space, it's gonna be really awesome that we can finally sit down and put out some cool stuff, you know, cool information, cool builds and things like that. Just to recap too, cause I know I kind of only showed like a second of it. Um, the tires on the RPF ones that I have for the Evo 9, they were splitting, cracking, uh, dry rotted. They're really, really bad and needs new tires. So Sam was nice enough to let me borrow his brother's wheels. The SE wheels that are currently on the car. I'm gonna insert a picture just so you guys can kind of see the final product. Cause there is no like walk around or anything like that uh, before I close the video out but really stoked to basically kind of have my old Evo back because when I sold it, I sold it with about 55,000 miles. This one I bought was 67, so it was really close in mileage. It was same color, same trim, same everything, except this one actually has the original interior, which I'm super stoked about. But um, yeah, that was kind of something why I wasn't driving it because I was scared of the tires blowing out. And if you guys are interested or in the market for RPF ones, those are gonna be for sale soon. Uh, if you guys are interested, you can shoot me a message on Instagram. If you guys need any maintenance, parts, installation for your Evo 8, 9, or 10, and even GTR, Sam's doing some GTR stuff as well. He's been around the VR38 for a while. Um, be sure to reach out to him, he's a really good guy. Uh, you know, I've kind of done a lot of promotion. Here, my cat, guys. What I want to make really clear, like as far as like promotion goes, like with shops and stuff, I would never, ever recommend any shop or any product or any tuner or anything like that if it wasn't something that I was really confident in what they do. And honestly, anyone that really knows me, like outside of the internet knows I'm really OCD. Like I research the fuck out of a lot of things before I either A, spend my money on it or B, especially telling you guys to go spend your hard earned money on that because that's just not cool to promote something that is going to be crappy or just something that's not going to work. You know, the last thing I want to do is you guys to go to a shop and you're not happy with what you get. Sam really works on people's cars like they are their own, which is why I'm really stoked to be partnered with them. He's a really good dude, um, really, really knowledgeable. And I'm stoked to kind of bring that to light, show you guys kind of his Evo knowledge and just some of the stuff he's gonna be cranking out at the shop. So with that being said, guys, I won't take up any more of your time. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more Evo content coming your guys' way. Uh, very soon we'll be doing a lot of maintenance and kind of, I don't wanna say restoration, but a lot of maintenance items that are slept on Evo 8s and 9s specifically. Uh, even a little bit with 10 stuff too. And very soon we're going to be showing, you know, the car some love and just getting a lot of cool videos out for you guys that people really neglect if you want to make your even more reliable, uh, just last longer if you beat on it at the track or, you know, street driving, whatever it may be. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great weekend when you guys are watching this. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.